Today we are talking all things sewing machines. friends, I am so excited that you were here. My name is Carly. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I do sewing content here every week on YouTube and I am just thrilled to get straight into today's video. So let's get to it. So this is my domestic machine. It's a Singer Heavy Duty and I believe I got it on sale for about $350 but it retails for $500 in Australia. It is a great machine. I've sewed on it full time for about a year before I decided to look into buying an industrial machine. I love that it has a buttonhole feature. It's really easy to use. That's something that you can't get on an industrial machine that's just doing a straight stitch. It also has 23 different kinds of stitches, including the buttonhole feature. So that's really awesome if you want decorative stitches or you want a zigzag stitch uh, to finish off your edges. The bobbin case is really easy to see. It has a little clear cover. It's really easy to thread the needle and setting up all of the threads is really easy and self-explanatory. I haven't really had much issues with the running of this machine. The reason that I just wanted to upgrade is more so that I could have more speed and more reliability and just a better stitch quality as well. Overall, it's a fantastic domestic machine. You can basically do any song you want on this. I know a lot of people sew full time on the Singer Heavy Duty. For the price that it is, I highly recommend. However, there are some functions of my industrial machine that have totally changed my life and it's pretty hard going back to my domestic machine after being introduced to my industrial. So I'm going to show you that now. Okay, so this is my Juki Straight Stitch Industrial Machine. I'm absolutely in love with it. It has been a complete game changer for me. It is the DDL 8700. I got mine from a local supplier. Uh, they were absolutely sensational. They are called Sewing Machines Australia. If you're based in Brisbane, I couldn't recommend them highly enough. Also, one thing to note is that the people at Sewing Machines Australia very lovingly assembled this for me. So all we had to do was just put the machine head in and connect a few cables when we brought it up to my room. I did, however, have a hard time finding price points online. I kind of just wanted to be able to browse and see how much people were charging for them, but you kind of have to inquire to get this price point. So if it helps you out, I paid roughly 2000 for mine, and that was a special deal where I also got my G60 servo motor included in that price. So when I was looking to upgrade, I really wasn't sure what I was looking for, except that I had seen a lot of people sew on this Juki straight stitch machine. And honestly, now I can see why. It's so fast. In fact, it's actually five times faster than my domestic machine. It has a lot of really nice intuitive design elements, which I'll show you in a second. And the sewing is just very enjoyable. I haven't had any needle breakage yet, which is really exciting to me. And I absolutely adore all of this space between the needle and the machinery. It means that I can work on really big pieces and they kind of just flow through. One thing that this machine is missing, however, is a light. I know that you can upgrade the Juki machine and you can get one with lights and with more technical capacity, but I just went for the most simple option and I got a magnetic light. It was about 60 bucks and it just snaps right onto the magnetic side of the machine and honestly, it works like a dream. Okay, now for some more of my favorite geeky sides of this machine that have just made my life a lot easier sewing on it. The first thing, of course, is the knee lift. Usually when you're sewing on a domestic, you'll have to flip a switch at the back of your sewing machine, and that's what's going to lift the presser foot. But on the industrial, you can move your knee slightly to the side, and the presser foot will come up and down just by that touch, which I find to be so intuitive, and it just helps me with the flow of my sewing projects. It's so cool. The next thing I really love, actually, is the capacity this machine has for different tensions. It goes all the way up to a five in terms of stitch length, and the tension can be turned up and down really easily by this knob here. And I find that it can go really, really tight, which is awesome if you want to be gathering through your machine as you sew, which I do all of the time. Another super cool function is that the needle always ends down in the project. 
So when you're sewing, it doesn't end up in random places when you stop. It will always be in the project. So if you want to swivel your work, if you're going around a corner or something, you never really have any weird breakages in the sewing stitches. It just sews really smoothly because it's always grounded in the fabric. But you can also, guys, this is so cool. You can also use the bottom part of the foot pedal by using your heel to bring that needle up. So you really don't have to use the manual hand needle much at all in your sewing. You can kind of control whether it's up or down just by using your foot and your knee, which is so cool. The G60 servo motor is a Japanese manufactured motor. It's something that you can attach to your industrial machine. From what I know about the servo motor is that it saves energy. It can save up to 35% of energy, so it has quite low power consumption. And it also helps with the machine run with minimal noise, which is very ideal for me because I work in my bedroom, which is near all of my other family members. It also has adjustable speed control and it's highly responsive. And lastly, but seriously, not leastly, it has an automatic bobbin winder, which is pure and utter joy, everybody. If you have known the struggle of running out of bobbin thread on your domestic machine, and then you have to take the thread out of the needle and you have to put it into your bobbin and you have to wind the bobbin and it's like a whole process and then you have to re-thread everything. You don't have to do that with this industrial machine. I have, as you can see, two spools of thread here. One of them is connected to my main needle and the other one is connected to my bobbin threader. So at any point in time when I'm sewing, I can be threading the bobbin at the very same time. So when I run out of bobbin thread, my other bobbin is completely ready to go, all filled up. So yes, you heard right, whilst you sew, the bobbin fills up. So good guys. So if you're beginning, I couldn't recommend a domestic more. And if you're someone that wants to upgrade, I couldn't recommend an industrial more. Sewing really comes down to your skill level. And so you could be sewing really badly on an industrial or you could be sewing really incredibly on a domestic. It all comes down to your talent and your hard work. There is definitely a little bit of a learning curve on the industrial machine, but once you get past that, it's an absolute blissful ride. You have to say personally, owning this Juki has been completely life-changing. It's a game changer for my workflow and I just find it to be very enjoyable and cathartic to work on. I really hope that this video shed some light on the pros and cons of each machine and maybe it gave you a little bit of information if you were thinking about making an upgrade like I was a few months ago. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments and I'll definitely try and get to them. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a big old like and if you're interested in more sewing and DIY content, please smash that subscribe button. I am totally here for you in your sewing journeys and I love hearing about what you you guys are sewing. I will see you in the next week's video. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing week. Bye!